Hi, good morning, good evening, good night, uh, fellow YouTubers. How are you all doing out there? Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome to my channel and thank you for dropping by. And before we could start, uh, if you could hit that um, like and subscribe button for me. Thank you. In this video, I'd like to uh, show you how to make this uh, beautiful flower necklace. What I have here, I have this um, findings, a flower finding. I got it from JTV. It was a whole bunch of findings. It was 46 pieces for 22 something. So I got two of these. So I'm going to work with this one. I started this already. So what you're going to need are the following. You need the measuring tape. Always keep a measuring tape handy. You need the hook because I'm going to make also a matching earring. A flower matching earring to the necklace. You need a 6 millimeter jump ring for the earring. You need some head pins. You need some, I always get like a clear beads like small beads to put at the end of the necklace the caliper to make sure you have the right uh, size of beads i'm working with um 10 millimeter pink beads and eight millimeter rose quartz so pretty I love the pink stones and you need also the wire cutter and you need the pliers with the teeth you need another pliers without the teeth because you have to pull the jump ring open and the round pliers And some 12 millimeter jump ring. Sometimes it's kind of hard to work with this. That's why you need a good pliers to open it. And a small spacer in between the necklace, the beads. You see? I'm using a like a gold tone color. And you can also use small beads, like the rondels and the small ones. You could use that as a spacer. And also, I'm using a toggle clasp. I like this one because it's also decorative. And a wire. See the wire is 0.3 millimeter. You can get this from any craft store or eBay or Amazon. And it's not too expensive, like two to three dollars. Uh, Michaels is more expensive, but uh, uh, online is cheaper. Um, so I cut this because uh, I'm thinking of um making the necklace like a 17 16 to 17 uh, inches necklace like a choker so i cut this wire because i'm gonna double it like this so if it's a choker it's like 16 inches so i cut 20 inches of my wire and if i double it it comes up to 10 inches so you still have like uh, two inches left to work with with your clasp 
So always think about that. All right. So this um, pendant is an enamel pendant. It has like a thing here, like a, an opening, so you where you can put your um, jump ring. It's both sides, one and two, right here. So this is what I did. I put this thing already, and I hook it, and I put the beads already. I start with a big one, then followed by the spacer, then the rose quartz, and spacer, rose quartz, until it comes up to 8 inches. Because as I said, we want the 16 to 17 inches. So I'm going to work on the other side. And just loop the thing like this, like hook it up like that you see and then start with the big pink beads and then followed by the spacer and then followed by the rose quartz and just alternate and just make sure your jump ring are tightly closed so the wire will not come off you see the jump ring here has to be so tight when you close it, there's no gap. So just continue beading. Eight inches is our target length on the other side to make it 16 inches. I love this pink color. I'm excited to see the product already. I'm gonna I'm gonna need also some crimp. I have the crimp already. Keep on losing it, but it's there into the small thing the crimp that you put on the end I'll show you so you always check the length to make sure you are on the same length on the other side and you have to make sure your beads are the same and see you always check that it's even so I'm missing like like eight more beads so always be mindful before you close it put the clasp and pinch the crimp you make sure that it's everything's okay that they're all the same length on each side Because you don't want to make it and close it and and then realizing something is missing is going to be bugging you. It's going to bother you. So 
So I'm almost done. So always mindful of the length and the number of beads on each side. Let me see. Let me just count. I need three more beads on this side. <laughs> you see? I always count it. Because sometimes you can, you know, tell. By, by just looking at it I drop one bead let me see oh okay looks good that looks good already huh So let me just close it. When you close it, you put the small beads on the end, like these beads here. And the crimp. And then you attach it here. On the clasp, a toggle clasp. I usually double my loop, like to have like a more sturdy and more uh, durable. Or, no, just make sure it doesn't come off. Just loop it around the uh, jump ring. And then you go back. I see? I put it, the end, you put it here on the crimp, inside the crimp. And with your pliers, you pull it and crimp it. Pinch the crimp. You do it on the other side, you see? It's coming together. You do it on the other side, on the end part. Put the the small beads then followed by the crimp see the crimp tiny this will fasten your necklace then with this one you see I'm gonna put a jump ring in it so to have some a little bit of uh, movement or you can adjust so it's not so stiff then you could just work with your necklace just uh, see what needs to be done you see if it will go in oh it go in you see just added a jump ring for extension and it can move around it's not your necklace is not so stiff 
you see and just go around this thing here like that and make a loop like this and go inside your crimp it's the most challenging thing to do when you crimp it because it's so small Okay. Plus the wire is double, so it's so so tight. It's quite challenging, but you're gonna get and pull it to to just make sure it's not loose before you close it. You see, it's even. And then this is the best part don't forget to pinch the crimp and cut the end you know those uh, wire so you don't want the wire sticking on your neck Aha. you got a beautiful necklace see and I'm gonna make a uh, And uh, what is it? An earring, a matching earring. Okay, there you go. So let me work on the earring. I have some flower binding got two of them and it's just simple I just work with uh, with this the head pin and some big pink beads mm -hmm. see And then cut it with your uh, wire cutter, just like that. And curl it up like this. And put a... Curl it towards you. And put a 6 millimeter jump ring. and uh, you can pinch it but I'm gonna curl it further inside then pinch it with the flat pliers wow it's so cute and then you attach it here easy easy one two three it's so cute it's simple and then you can just attach your hook you see you don't even need to use a jump ring it's a darling so adorable I'll make the other one with the head pin and I use a small beads 
at the bottom of this big one because it has a big hole so there you go and then put the big beads and the small beads here and then cut it short bend it with your round pliers like this bend it more bend it towards you put the jump ring six millimeter jump ring and curl it more inside then you pinch it that easy and then connect it to the findings Look at that. And then with the hook for pierced ears. Look. What an adorable. Ha ha. Look, look, look. With the matching. flower earring the matching necklace let me put it here so you could see it it here I won't stick something wrong with this thing let me just fix this one because I think I put the the hook on the other side can always tell something is wrong Ah. Isn't that the beauty? Whoo! So pretty. Love, love this piece. Now it's a machi machi. Let me put it on. You see? And this one, let me try it on. This thing is hard to go in. But anyway, now I, I can put it on. Oh, it's not so bad. Mm. He is so cute. There you go. 
I can take the other one off but it's okay it layers mm. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and you can make your own earrings. Bye-bye. Have a nice day, and be safe out there.